Battlefield 1 Incursion's class system is totally different from what we have in the vanilla game. We've got 8 classes instead of 5, and every single one of them is specifically designed to fit some role. Gadgets also work differently, so don't get surprised if you see me getting healed by a sniper shield or using decoys as motion sensors. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it, because this video is going to be long anyway. Starting with the Raid Leader class, it has Hellregal and Sjurgen as primary weapons. For the secondary weapon, you can either pick a melee pistol or bulldog revolver, and for the gadgets, you get the medic pouches and spawn beacons. As for the abilities, the passive one automatically spots the enemy shooting you on the minimap. Rank 1 ability allows you to put one more spawn beacon on the ground, and rank 2 ability enables health regeneration and temporal immunity to suppression after scoring a kill or kill assist. The class is literally perfect for the aggressive playstyle and entry fragging at the beginning of each round, but if you choose to play it, you can't only focus on getting high amount of kills. You need to place your beacons in smart locations so that enemies will not find them immediately, but also your teammates will have a short way to come back to the objectives. And of course, you can't forget about healing them, because you also have med pouches. Most players who pick this class tend not to cooperate with others, and they straightly go for the kills, which might be an effective way to play incursions against not experienced players, but if you come across those experienced ones, well, rushing the objective solo just to get kills will not win you the round. Moving on to the second squad leader class, called Control Leader, you get the autoloading factory and SMLE marksman rifle as primary weapons, and for secondary weapons, you can either pick gasser or MLE pistol. Talking about gadgets for this class, you get flare gun and crossbow, but not normal crossbow, you get the smoke version of it. The passive ability of this class allows teammates to spawn on a leader if he doesn't get hit or suppressed in the last 15 seconds. The rank 1 ability increases the spread of the smoke grenades from the crossbow, allowing you to provide more cover for your team. And rank 2 ability is pretty powerful, because it automatically spots enemies around you on the minimap. However, this only works in a small radius, so it's not like you will go on the objective and get everyone spotted immediately. This is the most responsible class to pick in my opinion, because you're basically a living spawn point for our teammates and if you die, they can't go back, they have to run all the way from spawn. And that means that you not necessarily want to rush every enemy, because if you die, then it's kind of a big deal for the whole team. Also, your weapon arsenal doesn't really provide you that best close quarter combat abilities, so I'd stick to the medium range and just cover your teammates from distance. Moving on to the class number 3, which is called the Proximity Recon, you get the MP18 Trench and the Russian 1895 Trench, as your primary weapons. For gadgets, you get the helmet decoys and 3 wire bombs HE. And now you're probably wondering, why do we need helmet decoys in incursions? In this game mode, they're not supposed to fool enemies, they spot enemies around them, because they work as motion sensors. And going into the abilities of the soldier, the passive one is basically what I just said, so the gadgets of the recon will spot enemies around them. The rank 1 ability adds the red outline around the enemy if he's being actively spotted. So it basically looks like spotting someone with periscope. And the rank 2 ability allows for the automatic active spotting of the enemy that you target. In general, this class is perfect to combine it with someone using mortar support class, because then the mortar becomes deadly effective if the guy has everyone spotted on the minimap. And if you don't know, in incursions, the only way to navigate in your mortar is by using a minimap. There is no flying camera after shooting. And as for the playstyle, well, you can play however you want. You can go aggressively, you can go defensively. Your most important thing to do is to put those motion sensors in places where enemies are likely to come through so they get spotted and you can get prepared before they approach you. Moving on to the next class, which is called Shock Assault, you get the BAR in trench variant and 12G automatic backboard shotgun for your primary weapons, and for your secondaries, you get the MLE and Bulldog revolver. As for your gadgets, you get the crossbow launcher in HE variant and 3 wire bombs in incendiary variant. 
Your passive ability allows you to carry more explosives and enables you to put multiple tripwires on the ground. The rank 1 ability adds an explosion to incendiary tripwire, increasing the damage, and rank 2 ability makes your crossbow fire multiple grenades instead of just one. And while this class isn't specifically designed to take out vehicles, it's actually very good at doing it. Crossbow can heavily damage them, or even instantly disable, if you're using the crossbow firing multiple grenades at once. And moving on to the class which is proper for taking out vehicles, called AT Assault, for your primary weapons you get MP18 Experimental and M1907 Sweeper. For the secondary, you can either pick M1914 Pistol or Mars Automatic. As for this class gadgets, you get anti-tank grenades and limpet charge. Your passive ability reduces the amount of damage received from incoming explosives by 50%. Your rank 1 ability adds incendiary effect to your anti-tank grenades, so you have both explosion and fire when your nade reaches enemy target. And the rank 2 ability actually allows you to charge into enemies using limpet charge and throw it afterwards. Quite useful for taking out enemy tanks by surprise. And there isn't really much more to say about this class, because it is designed for taking out enemy vehicles and this is what you're supposed to do. Moving on to the next class, which is called Mortar Support, you get the MG15 in Suppressive variant and M1909 Bennett Mercy in Telescopic version. For the secondaries, you can either go with M1912 Pistol or N03 Revolver. You probably already know the gadgets of this class, but it has the explosive variant of mortar and ammo pouches. Your passive ability increases the throwing distance of your grenades and ammo pouches. Your rank 1 ability allows you to put the large ammo pack if you're deploying a mortar. And your rank 2 ability increases your suppression towards enemy players. And talking about the proper playstyle for this class, well, you need to keep some distance between you and enemies because your weapons aren't really designed for the close quarter combat and you will find yourself at a disadvantage if you come across someone using Hellrigal or Sweeper. Going over to the next class, called Trench Surgeon, in other words, the guy who usually saves the day, this class has two very good primary weapons, the autoloading in extended variant and Mondragon in Storm variant. As for the pistols, you either get P08 or C93. For your gadgets, you get the sniper shield and medical syringe. But don't get fooled, because the sniper shield is not working as a normal shield, it's actually a placeable healing point for your team. Talking about its abilities, the passive one heals your teammates standing around you, rank 1 ability makes a dead guy that you spotted to revive drop a smoke grenade, to cover you and him being revived. And the rank 2 ability makes you receive less damage overall if you have syringe in your hand. Talking about playstyle, I think it's quite obvious that you can't be the one rushing everyone, but you have to stay somewhere in the middle between your teammates. Every death counts in incursions, so you have to make sure that you revive as many allies as possible. And talking about the last class being vehicle operator called battle mechanic, for your primaries, you get the Frommer Stop and Piper pistols. For your secondaries, you get the Hoda pistol and MLE. As for the gadgets, you get equipped with the Repair Tool and Bandage pouches. Your passive abilities increase the vehicle repair speed and range damage. Rank 1 abilities makes your vehicle repair itself at a slow rate if you're out of combat. The second rank 1 ability which is specific for the armored car, allows you to deploy ammo bag and medic bag behind the vehicle. And the third rank 1 ability, which is specific for the light tank, allows you to generate a cloud of smoke around your tank if you need to get out or just get away from the action and hide yourself. The first rank 2 ability increases the reload speed of the vehicle. The second rank 2 ability adds the canister shell to your tank, allowing you to take out infantry easier. And the third rank 2 ability, which is specific for the armored car, improves your primary weapon, allowing you to direct damage vehicles and splash damage to infantry. And that would be it for this video guys. I know it's not very interesting, but that's how the showcase of classes look like. I will make videos explaining how to play with every one of those classes, but those will be way more specific and include way more tips and info. 
I simply couldn't do it in this one, because if I wanted to include all the information, the video would be like an hour long, or even longer. Let me know guys if you had the chance to play Incursions yet, write down the comment and as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield!